Hello gang and welcome back to this Captain Cowboy here with another video. Today we're going to be playing Iron Throne and I had a video from earlier that I created on my phone and I just wanted to go ahead and show it all to you. Try to rewind it. Alright, well I can't. But basically there is a new pack going out with Iron Throne. I'm actually going to pull it up on the big boy screen here just to show you. So there's a new uh, update coming out and with the new update there's a new pack out that is specifically for um, Majestic uh, gear. So this is actually the Gold Rush. I don't know where I'm looking. However, yes, here it is. So there's a new Majestic Equipment chest. So for $10, you can get 200 chests on Majestic gear. Majestic gear is level 40 gear. That is best in slot defensive gear. Put this on your Guard Captain and Guard Deputy, and you will be good to go to counter any kind of attack other than Dark Lord. So for $10, you can get... 200 chests, so for $30 you can get 600 chests. Then there's a $20 chest that, uh, $20 pack that has 400 chests. And that $400, uh, the 400 chests, you can get three of those as well. So that gives you 1,200 chests for $60. So 60 plus a 30, that equals 90. And in total, you're getting 1,800 chests. Now, in addition to those 18, uh, those chests, you're also getting the gold rush. And when I did this, I was able to unlock the 10,000 gold package that I gave you, 300 majestic material chests. So I decided to open up all 2,100 chests, and here are the results. So we'll play through it, and I actually, I don't know if this is the correct video, but you know what, we'll, we'll, we'll play through it, don't worry. Don't you worry, ladies and gentlemen. So. Here we have all of our equipment, and we're going to be taking a look at, here's our guard captain, here's the equipment that he had before we started our enhancements. So now we're going to try to figure out, okay, what do I want to enhance first? So as I talked about in my equipment crafting video, you want to craft with either an 80-20% chance on the four-piece materials, or a 60-40% chance on the three-piece materials, and this is only for immortal equipment. You don't want to craft anything other than immortal. So I'm taking a risk. I'm saying I can get four chances at Epic rather than one chance at 100%. So I'm taking four chances at 60% or 80% rather than a chance at 100%. And usually, in most of the time, it will pay off because the odds are in your favor. However, it is not guaranteed. I do fail a lot. However, when I fail, it goes on to other heroes. So in the end of the day, it's not a huge deal. However, if I wanted to go, oh, I failed, I already have my deputy like right there, I failed that one. I already have my deputy already set up with Epic. I don't, I don't know what to do with this one. I'm gonna upgrade it. Well, the cost to upgrade is simply not worth it. In the next video, I'll actually show you. I went through and I tried upgrading it, and it did not work out in my favor one bit. So here we're just going through. We're trying to craft a whole bunch of pieces. Then we're gonna go ahead and head and enhance. Now, one of the issues that I ran through with this is, yes, I do have all these amazing materials. And I combine them all. I have so many opportunities. I think I had 32 crafted um, pieces of Majestic today. I crafted 32 pieces of Majestic. Not all were immortal. I failed a couple. But for the most part, they were immortal. Um, and it, you know, it turned out really well for myself. And it was such a good deal for $90. Now the issue is, as you're looking here, I'm looking at my crafting research. It is so expensive to craft. 14 million silver per craft, 33 million silver in order to enhance. So a total cost in silver, upwards of 47 million silver per one piece. And when I'm crafting 32 pieces, that became very expensive. And I actually had to stop what I was doing, and that's why I broke up this video into two different videos, simply because I didn't have enough silver, so I had to go out and get some more. But, I mean, this Gold Rush event is 100% worth it. No matter what your budget is, you need to go out there and you need to get in on this event right now. Now, if you can't afford the $90 to get that uh, 10,000 gold, honestly, I think you get the 10,000 gold for about $50. But when you're buying $10 packs and you're buying $20 packs, it messes up the gold value a little bit. Um, in my math, I'd have to look into it a little more later on tonight. However, it is 100% worth it. The Alliance TDM sign up. 100% worth it. The events are amazing. I am stupid right there. I apologize. And the video is back. 
no big deal. We're going to go sign up for Alliance TDM. And we're enlisted. So we're back to the daily grind now. But, I mean, it, it, it's just absolutely amazing. So I'm just going through. I'm crafting all the pieces that I can. Trying to, you know, grow and get stronger defensive gear so I can't be touched. Now, I would be highly surprised if someone were to come out from my own kingdom and try to attack me one-on-one. -on -one. It wouldn't go well for them. I have a lot of troops. I do. I also have good gear. I pride myself on that. I have good stats. That's what I do. Um, so, I mean, all right. Right off the bat here, we're already we're out of something. So this is when, you know, we start coming towards, okay, well, I don't have enough to really do anything right now, so we're going to have to come back and we'll have to figure this out. But yeah, I mean, just one after another, we're just chugging along, crafting all, of, look at all those pieces of Majestic gear that we crafted. go hit the silver shot that was way too expensive and i hadn't even touched the enhancements at all we're going to go hit enhancement here 32.9 million silver this is just absolutely insane but like the stats are amazing plus you get an uh an extra set bonus on top of that once your enhancement level hits plus 5 plus 10 and plus 15 which is the maximum so that is the end of the video here um, we'll go ahead and we will pull up the next video. I think this is the next video. It might be the first video. Yeah, this is the first video. Whoops, my bad. Alright, and now back into the next video. So, here we have our second set. Um, here we're crafting a little bit of slaughter. I also got some slaughter gear out of the whole ordeal too. Um, because when I got all of my silver packs, I was also able to utilize the gold event in order to get some slaughter. I also got some outcry, but I wasn't able to craft any outcry. But I wasn't. Um, I did get a piece of outcry out of the event. So we'll go ahead and we'll combine this up into an epic piece, and then we can go ahead and get a higher chance of crafting immortal. Now, I needed an extra quiver, I believe it was. Or no, it was breastplate. No, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, okay, so we went with the hood. I am Confucian. I am Confucian. I do not know the answer to these questions I only seek. And we failed. That was a shame. But, now back to the little majestic grind. 500 million silver opened up. We're ready to rock and roll. By the way, spoiler alert, I did run out of silver from here and I had to go get more eventually afterwards anyway. But we're chugging along, we're crafting some majestic pieces, trying to increase that grind up a little bit, you know? And we failed a lot on those on that offhand. Quite a lot today. That's for sure. I did try, um, I did eventually later on in this video bring up the rarity of that offhand from a purple to an immortal, and I immediately regretted that decision just based on the cost, and it prevented me from being able to craft three pieces because it was taking three other rare materials in order to upgrade that one piece, as well as 8 million silver and 125 immortal upgrade hammers. It simply was not worth it. I could have had three more opportunities to craft that one piece rather than the one opportunity I had at upgrading its rarity. Again, failing quite a lot. I think there is well where it's like, okay, I'm taking a break from doing this. I'm, I just can't get it right. I just keep failing. So I'll just let this video play. But while that happens, I do want to mention that if you are if you like this video if you want to see more of these videos go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you want to give iron throne a try if you really like hey wow this guy's getting best in slot gear for really cheap yeah 90 dollars for best in slot gear and being able to craft a whole lot of it yeah okay this game is pretty killer 
um, go ahead and use that link in the description of this video below to go ahead and download Iron Throne. It's an amazing game. I highly recommend it. It's absolutely worth it. And if you use that link, trust me, it is worth it as well. You get a lot of great benefits out of doing that. Um, furthermore, we also uh, offer account guides. So if you're looking to save a couple dollars here and there, like a couple hundred or a couple thousand, um, you want us to take a look at your account, Swack and I offer account guides now. So we yo, have yo, yo. different packages available. We have a run account guide, where just through a couple screenshots, you know, we'll look through all of your different pieces. So we'll look through your research, we'll look through your equipment, we'll look through your runes, we'll look through your troops, we'll look through your buildings. We'll literally scrutinize every single thing that you're doing in your game, and we will create the best plan for you moving forward in order to get where you want to be. We also do this with a private live stream we can also do this with a six month improvement plan or you know however long we're like looking to plan out for your account we will create an exact plan tell you the exact amounts that you want to be spending on everything we will lay it all out now if you want just maybe like a two-on-one -on -one talk with us and like hey i'm trying to get over this hump i know exactly what i need to do but i just want to make sure hey is there a way that i can save a lot of money we also offer services with that as well Go ahead and hit us up in Discord. That is the best way to reach us both. Or you can add me online. The both are in the description of this video below. As well as you can hit us up in game. But yeah, so now it's time to go ahead and do a little more enhancing. So we got a plus four, we got a plus five, got a whole bunch of plus twos and plus threes. Um some of it became a little more stagnant um later on, however. For the most part, we're around like plus five in the end. Um, after this is all said and done, after the end of the day, what I'm currently at is closer to plus five. It's not a complete plus five set, but it's looking pretty darn solid. If you ask me, I'm pretty happy with where it got. So right here, I'm just like looking through all my different pieces of equipment, trying to determine, okay, what pieces do I have duplicates of? What can I go ahead and enhance? Oh, perfect. I have a ring of slaughter. I have a duplicate. I'm going to go ahead and enhance that. I think I actually missed that out, but we can always go back and take a look at it again. Loyalty K105 said, Cowboy, go attack someone, please. Loyalty, um, I'm not going to... Actually... Uh, in a bit, I'll be doing the last team deathmatch, and I'll attack some people in that for you if you want. Um, however, it is not kill event. I'm not really attacking unless someone provokes me to attack. Um, but I do have I have a couple of pretty nice attack reports I showed earlier, but I'll show again for you as well after this video is over. But yeah, I mean this is the general gist of the uh, the video that we got in here. I'm not going to bore you with going too long into this video. So with that being said, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more of it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, go ahead and hit that like button. If you want to download the game, do that too. Utilize that link in the description of this video. And Swag, cue that elevator music. Do do, my name's Swag. Do do, yeah I am. Do do, you a little bitch boy. Follow Captain Cowboy, or I'm gonna come kill you in game, not in real life. If it's not a real threat, I'm not gonna kill you unless you win a game, cause then that's legal. Yeah. Swag scares me a lot. Thank you.